Good day, learners, and welcome to another lesson in Philippine history and government. Today's discussion is all about the life of Sergio Osmeña. Sergio Osmeña was a Filipino politician who served as the fourth president of the Philippines from 1944 to 1946. A founder of Nationalista Party, Osmeña was also the first Visayan to become president. Way back then, before he became a president, he was vice president under Manuel L. Quezon. Upon Quezon's sudden death in 1944, Osmeña succeeded him at the age of 65, becoming the oldest person to assume the Philippine presidency until President Rodrigo Duterte took office in 2016 at the age of 71. Liberation Osmeña accompanied U.S. General Douglas MacArthur during the landing of U.S. forces in Leyte on October 26, 1944, starting the liberation of the Philippines during the Second World War. MacArthur immediately transferred authority to Osmeña, the successor of Manuel Quezon, as Philippine Commonwealth President. Government Reorganization President Osmeña proceeded with the immediate reorganization of the government and its diverse dependencies. To prepare for the forthcoming independent status of the Philippines, President Osmeña created the Office of Foreign Relations. On April 8, 1945, he formed his cabinet administering the oath of office to its component members. Later, President Osmeña received the Council of State to help him solve the major problems confronting the nation. Bell Trade Act On April 30, 1946, the United States Congress at last approved the Bell Act, which as early as January 20 had been reported to the Ways and Means Committee of the Lower House, having been already passed by the Senate. The act gave the Philippines eight years of free trade with the United States then 20 years during which tariffs would be upped gradually until they were in line with the rest of the American tariff policy. Serios Menas post-presidency and death. He wasn't hands-on in his campaign because he trusted so much the Filipino people that they will vote for him because of what he previously did or accomplished for the country. But in spite of his trust to the people, he didn't win. After his electoral defeat, Osmeña retired to his home in Cebu. He died of pulmonary edema at the age 83 on October 19, 1961 at the Veterans Memorial Medical Center in Quezon City. He was buried at Manila North Cemetery, Manila on October 26, 1961. Once again, Sari Osmeña our Filipino politician who served as the fourth president of the Philippines from 1944 to 1946. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more lessons to learn. Bye!